Hi, this is Al, your Camping Preparedness Pal. I'd like to go through a couple reviews on hand warmers. See how well they work. Stay tuned. So here I have two hand warmers. Reusable hand warmer. We've got the UST, which stands for Ultimate Survival Technologies. And I also have hot hands hand warmer. Now this this one's probably more common. You can get these locally. I've never personally used one. I've used these other ones. But my point here in comparing these two is not so much to see which one's better, but to see if they're going to actually do what they say as far as temperature is concerned. And so we're going to have some time test here and we're going to follow the direction of what it says. Now what I have here is a just a regular temperature setting. So you can see it is 70 degrees Fahrenheit on this table 23 degrees you can see that reflection here might be a little tough 23 degrees Celsius 73 degrees Fahrenheit so it's a little warm in here now I realize that if you were to use these you'd be outside and it'd be colder so that, you know there's going to be some variances when we do this test but at least we can make someone of a judgment how well they're going to work by just getting them started. So, we're first going to start with the hot hands. Now, it says it's going to last 10 hours. Um, it also, there's two of them in here. And the other one says here that it, it takes up, well, it says it'll take up to 15 to 30 minutes to heat up. So, we're going to have to see where it gets up. But it says the average temperature is 135 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees, 57 degrees Celsius. So we'll go ahead and open this one up and let's see how it goes. So obviously we're not going to be able to get a temperature reading starting off. But there we go. It's up. It's an oxygen. It's open. And what we'll look, it says 15 minutes. So if you can look at the clock here, it is 9.47. So 9.47, 15 minutes would be a 10.02 and we'll see where that's at so we'll go ahead and and we're going to now open this one now this one has that chemical solution so you, you spark it off a little bit bending that little thing and we'll get to that right now <clears throat> and this one says it'll do it in about 15 seconds but it only lasts for two hours yeah, it says it'll get up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, 54 degrees Celsius. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and trigger this. I don't know why it's not doing it. So there we go. It gets really goes really fast. It's kind of cool. And of course, this one can be reused over and over again. You just have to boil it, and it'll go back to the the normal temperature, or back to the liquid form, and you can start all over again once it cools off. And I do like that. But the drawback is it only lasts two hours. So that's getting pretty warm, and it's getting pretty hot. <laughs> I think of it seeing it's been about 15 seconds since I did that. So here we go. We'll put the temperature on it. See, it's 118 degrees Fahrenheit, 48 degrees Celsius. So at this point, I don't know if it's getting up as hot as it says it will. And I like that. You don't even really need an insulator for that. But at the same time, it's not getting really, really hot either. Okay, well, 
we'll uh, go ahead and let this sit. We got about another 10 minutes here for the other one to be totally at the temperature it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to put these in a, in a rag just like it would be in, in your pocket or something so it's not going to dissipate the heat as fast. And we'll put this one in. It's slightly getting warm but I'm not... Yep, it's up to 93, 92 Fahrenheit. 34 degrees Celsius. So that one still has a little more time to heat up. Now if that was in a big emergency, you probably wouldn't, uh, wouldn't want to maybe use those. So there we go. We'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay, so now it's been about 15 minutes. And we are going to test the temperature of this one. Now it says it takes about 15 minutes to get up to the proper temperature. So here we go. It says 113 degrees Fahrenheit. 46 degrees Celsius. Now that's not as warm as it says it would get. I mean it's warm but it's not like it says and according to the temperature it's supposed to get an average of 100, 135 degrees Fahrenheit, 57 degrees Celsius and then it says maximum temperature may reach 158 and I realize there's probably different chemicals and different mixtures that maybe that's the reason why it's not going to be up the total temperature but we'll just keep testing so that was supposed to last 10 hours <clears throat> this one of course only lasts two hours but we'll just do a quick little test on it and see how warm it is and this is of course the uh, the ultimate survival technology one And it says about 115 degrees Fahrenheit and about 46 degrees Celsius. So it's not quite getting as high as it says it would too. It's still quite warm, but it's not getting to the temperature it says it would. We'll go ahead and put that in here. And I guess we'll... Uh, We'll come back in probably about an hour. Now it's uh, 10 05 a.m. right now, as you can see on the clock. And so that says it will last for two hours on this one. And so we will uh, come back probably about an hour from now and just test to see if it's staying the same temperature. And then we'll come back in two hours and see where it's at as well. So here we go. Okay, so now it's been an hour, and if you remember, Ultimate Survival Technologies says it would be good for two hours, keeping the temperature. We had about, I, I believe, 115 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll go ahead and pull it out and see what we have halfway through its time period. <clears throat> Just feeling it tells me that it doesn't feel as warm as it should and it has gone down so here we can see it is 95 degrees Fahrenheit and 35 degrees Celsius it really doesn't feel that warm not as hot as they said it would they said the average on that would be heats up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit and 54 degrees Celsius but I'm not feeling that with that so we'll test that another hour from now in its total time period in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and check this one now that one feels pretty warm and look at this it's 138 139 140 degrees Fahrenheit and 55, 57, 58 Celsius. So that's come up to its average temperature. And it feels pretty warm too. Not bad. I like the warmth of that one. And of course, it's saying that its average, it may re reach, eight to, reach up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 degrees Celsius, but the average is 135, which it's holding consistently. So, 
there we go on that and we will go now and come back at 12 or 5 or so and see where we are at with uh, with this one and see if it's gone less or where it's at and that should be it's two hours of warmth that said that they would have so here we go okay so it's been two hours and we're this is the one that says it's only good for two hours so as we pull it out measure the temperature on it we're showing down to 84 83 Fahrenheit and 29 degrees Celsius it feels you know pretty cold to me there's not any warmth to that at all yep you know they, they not saying they're not bad I think they're kind of cool how you can reuse them but I think the highest we got was to 115 degrees it wasn't as high as I said it would get to but uh, they're still not better than nothing if you ha wanted to use them and then while we're at it might as well test this one a hand hot hands and hot hands which of course is a very common brand look at that 135 and that's what it says on there in the average 136 temperature and that is pretty warm that, that, that feels like that would do something and of course it's not recyclable but keep your hands warm for less than a buck and you get two of them can't complain so what we're going to do now is we're going to wait we did this at uh, around 10, a little before 10 a.m. And so it says it, it will last 10 hours. And so if it's going to last 10 hours, that would put it, if I could do my math straight, put around uh, 8 o'clock tonight. I'll probably come back and do one more test in between to see if it's uh, keeping to that temperature. And we'll come back at 8 p.m. tonight and see where it's at okay okay so six hours have has gone by and of course this is cold as can be so we're done with that but the hat hot hands hand warmers it's still pretty warm but it, it's not up to the temperature of 135 for the time but that would be understandable it's going to slowly start cooling off 112 110 that's about the hottest. Oh, there it goes up a little more. That's about the hottest, though. 115. That other one got. And it was only like 15, 20 degrees shy of of being where I said the average was. Um, there it is with Celsius. 47 or 52, 50, 49, 50. So. You know, it's still pretty warm. I can tell it's cooled off just a little bit. Not bad, really. So, we've been doing it for six hours, and 10 hours will be around 8. So, 8 p.m. tonight. We'll come back and uh, test it then. We might do one in between. We'll see where we're at. Okay, so it's been six hours, and we're going to test this one again. Hot hands. Make sure it's gonna last as long as they say and it's pretty cool it says 93 degrees on there and it doesn't feel very warm either in Celsius that's 35 degrees Celsius ninety-five. so I don't know I don't know if I'd classify it for a 10 hour but eight hours it's I mean it just there's I don't know that might keep you a little bit warm with bare hands but it doesn't feel like there's much heat to that anyways we'll still test it in two hours when it says 10 and see what the temperature is put it in there so here it is 8 p.m. it's been 10 hours since we started the chemical hot hands so we're gonna go ahead and pull that out and test it now I'm gonna assume it's cold <laughs> It's hardly anything heat there, but this is our final temperature gauge here, 89 degrees. So, I mean, we're only, you know what, 10 degrees or so from being normal temperatures. As you can see, we're 73 in here still, 88. So, you know, I would give 
my understanding on these is I would say they're going to give you good hop temperature for at least six hours. So probably, you know, five to six hours. So I would say half your time, you know, half your time you're going to get some really good heat, at least with the hot hands. And, and with the... Uh, the UST, uh, I'd say probably an hour, so it's probably about half the time as well. Okay, well, I hope you learned something new, and, and hope that will help. Thank you for watching.